Nairobi Senator Edwin Sifuna on Tuesday, May 23rd, revealed that the Azimio coalition had once again called off the bipartisan talks after the committees failed to agree on four fundamental demands. Now, in a statement, the senator noted that the suspension came after the Azimio's team could not persuade its Kenya Kwanzaa counterparts to agree on the terms of agreement that had been tabled. The issues they differed on included lowering the cost of UNGA, preservation of the election servers, suspension of IEBC, uh, suspension of IEBC and reconstitution, and for the Ruto regime to stop meddling in Jubilee party affairs. So far, they have suspended the bipartisan dialogue after they could not persuade their friends from Kenya Kwanzaa to concede to some common sense interim measures as they put it. As new leader Ray Lodingo on Monday, May 22nd reiterated that if the Kenya Kwanzaa team was unable to meet their demands, they would call off the talks and resume the nationwide protests. Earlier on March 17th, both parties issued additional demands as the talk continued, writing to the National Assembly and Senate speakers to seek additional funds to facilitate the deliberations. Rarieda Member of Parliament Otiende Amolo, a co-chair of the bipartisan, bipartisan team, further revealed that they had already formed a subcommittee to prioritize the reconstitution of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, selection panel. Additionally, the 14-member team hoped to enjoin members from outside parliament in its discussions in a hybrid system. In our opinion, refusal to concede to any of these interim measures, which look logical to us, means then that we have irreconcilable difference on a fundamental issue. And we've chosen to invoke Article 37. We've already done the notice as the co-chair suspending these talks for seven days until and unless our principles or ourselves, we might then reach a different conclusion. Because we believe that if we go this way, then we are giving false hope to Kenyans. They have actually told us they will have to consult for another seven days. They may have to invoke a provision in the framework agreement, which says what is to happen if there is a stalemate. On our side, we, don't, we do not agree there is any stalemate whatsoever. Because what we want to do today is what we told you on Thursday. These are the interim measures. We had discussed them on Thursday and we had agreed that IBC is what is to take precedence as from today. Therefore, we do not declare any stalemate. We do not agree there is any stalemate. However, we have the framework agreement. They may resort to it if they deem it necessary. We will receive their communication regarding what issues they have and we will prepare a response to that. <laughs>